and Mark repeat after me. I, Mark, take you, Catherine. I, Mark, take you, Catherine. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. And Catherine, you'll repeat after me. I, Catherine, take you, Mark, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. I may have the rings, please. <laughs> place those on her ring finger on her left hand, please. <laughs> and repeat after me, Catherine, with all that I am and all that I have, I give you this ring as a symbol of my everlasting love. Mark, with all that I have and all that I am, I give you this ring as a symbol of my everlasting love. As you begin your married life together, hold close to you the words that you have spoken to each other today. Life isn't always an easy road, as you both know. <laughs> Rely on your faith and your promises made today to see you through those times. In times of trouble, be strong. Ask for the gifts of caring and understanding in your life together, allowing that each may be to the other a source of strength and need, a counselor in times of uncertainty, a comfort in times of sorrow, and a companion in your joy. You have declared before all of us that you will now live your lives together in marriage. You have made special promises to each other, which have been symbolized by the joining of hands, taking vows, and giving and receiving rings. By the authority vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> it is my honor and my privilege to be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Mark Nathan Keeler. You may kiss your bride.